What's incredible about this process is that an artist gets to conceive and articulate an idea they wouldn't be able to do without the support that they get from OVAC. I reviewed oh, um, 70 proposals by artists from across the state. It was really amazing um, to just get that snapshot of the kinds of artistic practices that are going on. Um, and I selected five artists um, after doing studio visits with about a dozen and found five people that I just really wanted to have a conversation with about their work. My name is Romy Owens. My name is Yakim Gulala. Alexandra Knox. Kathleen Faubert. My name is Brian Cook. Each of the artists had a pretty specific proposal and each of them has, has um, changed slightly and I think it's mainly been because each of the artists um, proposed to do something very new. Prior to this project, most of my work had been photographic in nature, and so this is an entirely new realm of media for me. And I learned how to knit specifically for this project, not really knowing how labor-intensive knitting is. <laughs> but uh, it's been really good, and it's been really nice. It's opened up a whole other world of possibility for me so that I'm not pigeonholed into one kind of art with expectation. It's been really nice to explore something totally new and different. Scent has been something I've been trying to read about and understand, but this opportunity gave me a chance to really get my hands wet, whereas, you know, I felt like I was in a very visual space. But working with Rachel, working with Obek has really given me this freedom and territory to start something completely new. The new experience that they propose to have has been deeper and wider than they had originally anticipated. So making work from that experience has meant really dealing with and processing um, the experience that each of those artists has. My work up until this point has been about my heritage, my Ukrainian heritage specifically. My Art 365 project deals with cultural identity and a disconnect that I felt after I traveled to the Ukraine. You know, this is a pretty heavy topic for me that I'm working with, and so kind of internalizing, um, I feel like I've kind of come to a, a clear point about my work. As far as pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, as far as that goes, and in exploration of you know new subject matter. I, I have nothing but glowing praise for Rachelle and for how the OVAC staff has handled everything. The conversation that I've been having with Rachelle, the curator, uh, the questions that we've been uh, trying to address while we're working on this project has been tremendous. Or the tough questions that have been asked to decipher for myself and sift the project in itself, making it concise, uh, digestible, has been very uh, crucial to the body of work. It's it's a sort of freedom that's offered by, you know, a grant a grant like this to say, here's money. We believe in you to go to go make something great, and to say, well, I you know, this is this is this is my job. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. You know. The opportunity to work on this project has been amazing. She's given us a lot of room to grow throughout the project, and she kind of finds this way, I think, of encouraging us all to consider this a first iteration of the project versus a kind of finalization. What we get to do is make an exhibition that will open in early 2014, knowing that the work is going to continue to evolve and change, and that the artists don't just stop the moment they um, bring something to the gallery. These photographs, I would not be as happy with them, and they wouldn't be what they are without her help. This project, I think, has tremendously benefited from R365 because without R365, uh, there was no way I could be able to fly uh, to take pictures. I'm proud of the work and I am honored by the experience uh, of being one of the R365 artists. Working with four other artists and us getting together and kind of talking about work and where our projects come from and uh, the different viewpoints and how they all kind of interconnect and relate with each other has been a great experience. I think it's going to be really exciting. It is not an image of Oklahoma, but I think it is very much reflective of the richness and diversity of Oklahoma as a place to live and work as an artist.